Al Gravelin with your precision forecast. A decently mild day, all things considered. Saw plenty of scattered showers around here, even an isolated thunderstorm or two, especially a stronger one that moved through Vail and then into Ontario around Payette, Fruitland, and then tracked just north of Emmett and north of Horseshoe Bend. It was actually 58 for the high in Boise this afternoon. We were at 60 early yesterday morning, almost 24 hours ago, so officially that high was closer to 60, but daytime high was at 58. Mountain Home was at 57. Mountains were cooler, but a lot of showers and thicker cloud cover and of course elevation keeping things chilly around Stanley they were at 39 McCall was at 42 earlier today currently in the 20s around McCall and Stanley Boise is still at 47 so not too bad in the uh, city of trees 37 around twin 43 mountain home Jordan Valley and Silver City the warm and dry air though it's not far away unfortunately it's just not going to make its way into Idaho so off to the uh, south and east today we had Casper in the 60s Denver was in the mid 70s Grand Junction was in the mid 70s Salt Lake was around the mid 60s now at 50. Vegas is still quite balmy. They are at 69, but a lot of 40s around the northwest. Then you have Roseburg there at 51. We're dry for now. Skies are actually clearing up, so temperatures will drop eventually. Pretty tranquil conditions around here for the rest of tonight and to start Thursday. After that, though, the clouds are on the increase again, and so will the showers be as we head into the afternoon, especially around the valley, and then the mountains will follow. Uh, some heavier showers actually expected, especially west-facing slopes of the west central and Boise Mountains, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So here's the exiting system. Next one is on the way. You can already see some thicker cloud cover here making its way into around central uh, Oregon, central Washington. Heavier showers just behind that. As we look at the very wide view here, you'll see this low pressure system. This is the center of it where you see this little comma shape. That's the center of low pressure. Counterclockwise flow around this low pressure is leading to a lot of moisture moving in straight from the west. And when we have this straight west to east flow around our mountains and it's just bringing in moisture, we get what's called a lot of upslope flow. So the west facing slopes of the mountains is looking at heavy rain and snow over the next couple of days. But it will be very mild around here, so snow accumulations probably not too heavy. But the ski resorts up around Brundage, Tamarack, they could see a few inches tomorrow. So here's the setup for the rest of today, tomorrow, and into Friday. Unfortunately, that very nice, warm, dry air, that's going to stay just off to the south as we head into the weekend. West Central Mountains, we're talking 40s and 50s mostly for tomorrow. Rain and snow in many of these areas with snow uh, strictly above 6,000 feet, really up around 6,500 to 7,000 feet. Mid to upper 40s around the Sawtooths tomorrow. Only 22 to start off, though, in the morning around Stanley. An inch or two of slushy accumulation will be possible. Magic Valley, not too bad, actually. A slight chance of a late day shower. Other than that, it will be okay. A little breezy at times, though. And it will be breezy in the Treasure Valley tomorrow as well. We're talking highs right around 59, 60 degrees uh, for most of the valley, staying there through Friday and Saturday. Heavier rain for Friday in the valley. Still good chance for rain Saturday. We'll try to get up to 65 and partly cloudy. Dry weather, hopefully, as we head into Tuesday. Trying to dry things up. Yeah. The ground is so saturated. It is. Right and now. we're actually, we're already above average for precipitation for the month of March. Looks like we'll start April the same way. All right. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah. Raves that turn into rants.